So today we're going to use this claw machine to deal massive amounts of damage. But the upgrades to do that are past these two slime thingies here. So let's just get through them quickly. And then we'll save that small sword there for the next turn. We are going to need some block because that's a lot of damage coming in from them. So we get two shields here and then four times six. We're going to be losing four health here, which isn't so bad. And here we'll get some money too. And then this small sword here should do a little more damage. I prefer to pick it up by itself, but it was blocked by a shield. So at least we can start damaging this guy. Ooh, and that looks like we can get the small sword by itself. If we can finagle the claw like, oh, like that. Beautiful. When it's picked up, it does double damage. So that can finish this guy off entirely. Beautiful. And these aren't the most impressive upgrades, but a big shield is always helpful. So we can get some extra block because these guys are doing a little more damage. And the big shield by itself gives us double block for 30. And a small sword by itself is also good. Ooh, we're just barely holding it. Come on. Oh, it just fell in at the end there. Okay, so one dagger should take him out. Ooh, and the small sword is in perfect position to do that again, as long as we can get through this first slime. So let's go down here and hopefully get this piggy bank. There we go. Hold on to it. And yes, got some block too. Excellent. First guy is down and then we can focus on the small sword. Just gotta time it correctly. Yes, another 16 Ow. damage. Oh man, we could get the small sword by itself again. Kind of want to see if I can. Oh wow, I could. Look at me go. I am master of the claw machine. And the bomb is always a good upgrade. 30 damage to everybody. And now this next room, we get a free item. Oh, what is this? Decreases the health of enemies by 25%? Interesting. Or healing after each fight. Ooh, I like this idea. Pretty soon the health of the enemies isn't really going to matter if we're just dealing massive amounts of damage to them anyway. So at least we got some healing. Does that count for this room? It doesn't look like it does, but it will after this fight. Thankfully, we know how to deal with these slimes, but now we can pair it up with a bomb, which after three turns will detonate. And might as well get the small sword here because 16 damage is the perfect amount to take out this guy in front. Ah. Goodbye, you. I am moving on to your friend after he deals some damage to me. And then the bomb stacking up should be good because of how it operates. Just freshen him up with some damage first, and then we have two bomb counters, but they count down a little weird. Both bomb stacks ah. go to the same pile, so it detonates and deals 30 damage right there. Excellent. Ooh, and a spiky shield is promising, especially is against that? this boss that also does spiky damage. Oh, and the spiky shield and the bomb are right next to each other. Hopefully I can get both of them this turn. Oh, yes, and a dagger to boot. So we get a bomb for Whoa. ourselves, poke him once, Whoa. and then we get some spike damage. And then after we get some more block and a piggy bank here, he's gonna give himself some spikes, but we are one step ahead of him there. So when he attacks us, he's going to be dealing lots of damage to himself. And I would rather I didn't pick up the small sword there just because of double damage, but that's fine. Ooh. Also, it does five damage to us too. I will take a second bomb though, doesn't really matter if I get another dagger in there. So he deals some damage there and then the bomb detonates and I still got some thorns damage there, but he only has 28 health left. This is excellent. And there's another spike shield is there. I'm not even going to be the one dealing the most damage. It's going to be my enemies doing that. And let's go ahead and just get the big shield here for the double block that it gives for really no reason, just because. And now the bomb only has one countdown left. Ooh, three bombs there would be so nice if it was worth it right now, but it really isn't because the bomb is going to go off next turn so let's just focus on blocking and eh, who am i kidding i'm gonna get the bomb anyway and drop the daggers hopefully okay didn't drop the daggers in time but that should be okay yeah we don't take any damage anymore and now he's gonna damage me and he took himself out with that attack wow Ooh, we can regenerate more health when we deal damage but it's only one i think i like the idea of starting with block and the pachinko machine right now is a little bit random for my liking so let's go down the upgrade path we just gotta get through these frog wizards here that deal massive amounts of damage by themselves time to get the thorns in here which is actually really good for these enemies because they attack multiple times oh no i lost the piggy bank that's Okay, so we can get some block there, and I think the bomb might have to wait this turn. The small sword is calling out to me. Let's get it all by itself to deal some good damage to the first slime here. And he's gonna take himself out with those attacks. He doesn't, oh, I guess he did get a third one, but it didn't do anything. 
That was a bit confusing. Anyway, let's just get some more spiky block and then make sure we get the piggy bank this time while throwing a lot of daggers their way. One, two, three, money, and then four. So we just have one thing to deal with, but sadly, that's the one that deals the most damage. Ah, he brought me down to half health already. That's fine. We'll just get the spiky shield with a regular shield. And then a few more shields collected like so should mean that we take no damage this turn. Ooh, and this might soften him up enough to take him out in one go. Oh, it's not quite, but he's still gonna get 15 damage to himself so i think i'll just finish this off with a small sword attack because picking this up is easier than i thought it would be and that frog wizard is done and we got some health back so we could start going into some poison but that's not really what i'm going for here let's reroll. and out of all of these i think i like the brass knuckles the best oh these guys deal a lot of attacks oh you're about to have a bad day or i am this hamster because that's absolutely that? a hamster is also going to be adding things to the machine interesting well let's just get the spike block going early and then okay how much damage is this that hamster deals so much damage as well what is with all these guys doing massive amounts of damage i should start collecting this bomb actually early i will take some damage but this should be over pretty soon i hope especially since they're doing lots of thorn damage to themselves we blocked most of that attack or not really most Ooh, okay we can get the next bomb here that should deal with a lot of bad guys and the spike shield hold on yes we got it okay 10 damage there and then let's see if i can get that brass knuckles there for a bit of dodging because that's gonna keep me alive against the oh uh oh okay you know what block is also appreciated these slime guys should be able to take themselves out out without taking away all of my block yeah he attacks but it doesn't do anything and that guy attacks oh he still has some health but he's about to take 30 damage so he dropped down to three so it's fluff that he was adding i couldn't tell before he's just stashing all of my weapons under a pillow and wow that is a lot of fluff there if only i could do stuff with it but I can't. Ooh, another small sword for dealing more damage. Or do I reroll? I need to save money for the upgrading thing though. Let's go with the small sword. And the upgrade is here. Okay, what can we upgrade? We can upgrade the shield or the daggers. Ooh, we can make the daggers do more damage? A better dagger, obviously, for 12 damage. If only I had more money. Oh, well, that dagger is going to be very appreciated. And now we have a couple of healers here. Well, aren't you two gonna be annoying? I don't even have the spike shield here. At least I can get some brass knuckles for dodging. And then let's see if we can get that shiny new dagger that we have. It looks like yes, and we're getting some money out of it. Oh, the gold dagger barely made it. But that's 12 damage there. Very good. Some more damage. And now his healing doesn't even bring him back to full, except he has a friend there, so it actually did. Well then, at least the shiny dagger is back and right next to the spike shield, so we can just do that again. Oh, come on, it dropped the shiny dagger. Oh, you just had to be so annoying like that. Should I even go for it? I think I need to go for the bomb to keep up with their healing. Or I just get the small sword by itself. That's extra damage, so sure. And now they're both attacking, but I have two dodges, so I'm safe here. And now they're both gonna do the healing thing again. Okay, let's get the special dagger here, because I'll take away half of the health he has left. There Ow. we go. And then, oh, six health left. So if we get this spike, shield with the dagger there that should finish him off very good his friend is going to heal the damage that he took but that's okay i really should be going for this bomb still there we're getting it and we're actually getting a lot of goodies there dealing some very good damage and then he's going to attack us so let's just give him another spike shield to worry about he almost takes himself out with that hit wow just one hit left a measly dagger or two would be able to do that very good we are cruising through this oh that's a different dagger for based off of coinage mm, this dark sword was so good last time 40 damage for that but losing health for the items that get picked up i think i'll do it as long as it's on top of the pile i can go for it like it is now well it's sort of on top of the pile top is in there's nothing else underneath it over there or on top of it but Hello. now the hamster's back and these guys are giving some of their own blocking well we'll just do as we do going all spike damage giving us 40 block here okay i think we're gonna lose most of it with this or oh we get just enough we have one block left over there wow but we get a second bomb here then those slimes are virtually taken care of well except for the second one but that's okay i don't think i can get that big shield there by itself so let's go for some smaller shields and get okay two of them that's fine at least it's something so those guys are going to hit me and then they're basically in range for the bomb and the hamster is oh almost in range of the bomb he's down to eight health he's the last one left so this 
Shiny new dagger here should be able to do it. I just don't like how much health I lost. I still have a boss to go through. Thankfully, we took him out. Okay, the next enemy is a boss, so I don't have to worry about dealing poison to all enemies. Let's get the poison dagger, because it'll do damage and apply poison. Okay, it's the shiny knight now. I honestly forget what he does. Is it just a ton of block? I think it is. Or he can do that, but what is this other one here? I don't fully remember, but the Dark Sword is in good position to pick it up all by itself. Yes! 40 damage right off the bat. That's gonna be helpful. And then we'll get some spike damage and dodging going on too. Is the spike damage gonna go if I'm dodging? I'm not too sure. So what does he give? Oh, that's right. He doesn't lose his block between turns. Yeah. Oh, you're just uh, gonna be annoying that way. But his one hit is accounted for, so we can focus on doing some damage. So let's hopefully get this dark sword by itself. Beautiful. Taking him down 40 damage at a time. That's actually a pretty good rate to go down and then let's get the shiny dagger that we upgraded as well very good hold on oh got it yes even the one that was about to fall this is a lot of damage going his way i like it he's already down to half basically and oh it looks like the spike damage actually didn't go when he triggered the dodging. Well, that's too bad. Thankfully, the Dark Sword is staying on top every time. He's just gonna be taking less damage because he has 25 block, but that's okay. We're keeping his block down to zero. Now I need to get these brass knuckles or else I'm going to be hurting very bad. There we go. And we get a little bit of blocking on top just because. And the Dark Sword is in perfect position as always. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Drop that sword, drop that sword. No, the Dark Sword's gonna hurt me. Ow, oh, ah, yeah, five damage there. Okay, I also have not been dealing any poison damage to him. I kind of forgot about that dagger. So let's avoid the dark sword for now and just go for the poison along with some of these smaller things, like a small sword, as it is called. And then poke him a few times. Okay, there's a poison effect. I think that goes through his block. And speaking of, gonna need these brass knuckles here. Oh, uh oh, oh, it's gonna drop, isn't it? <gasps> Ooh, but it dropped into the winning slot. Very good. And I would have enough block there to stop his attack anyway. So everything's working out. I'm gonna go for the bomb, actually. Because getting his block whittled down and then triggering the bomb would be super effective. Because he's looking pretty nice on health right now, and I don't want that. Here we go, a second bomb here. Careful not to grab the dark sword as well. And we get 15 block on top of that. And then we'll just haphazardly grab some shields and a small sword as well. So that's all well and good. And he's going to take some thorn damage there and some poison damage as well. And then the bomb, yes! it goes oh but he had the block already okay that's not as effective as i thought it would be but now the spike shield's in position for us to stack this a little more oh i only grabbed that by itself well at least i should be able to grab the poison dagger here oh no no no, no. i need to grab this by itself oh i was about to take damage there i was about to take too much damage there and by too much i mean any at all i don't want to lose health anymore why is this guy gotta be so difficult anyway let's get another bomb here along with ooh some poison again very good and more spiking so he actually gets rid of most of his own block oh no he stacked it because i didn't get rid of it all Ooh! but the bomb got rid of it all excellent and then we get the small sword by itself that's gonna do a fair amount of damage 16 okay we're whittling him down again i bet i could do the same thing with the dark sword i should clear the way for it though so let's grab this bomb it'll do some damage to him while it goes have fun blowing up again you jerk lose some more health Oh, he's in perfect range for the Dark Sword to do his thing. Just gotta reach down and pick it up all by itself. Oh no, we picked up a shield. Okay, well, if the shield happens first, then we're actually safe from the Dark Sword. He is done, yes. Ooh, starting with some strength? That increases our attacks, yes. So let's go through the middle again because upgrading was very good. Oh, I forgot about this guy. I forget what you do, but oh man, this is gonna be rough. I can take out the slime right away with just the power of this dark sword and the extra strength it has. That's 43 damage towards one guy. Oh, that's so powerful. I love it. And maybe this is enough to deal with that other slime. I think it might be. It is. Aha, two enemies in one turn. I love it. I don't even know what your buff is. Oh, it gets strength. That's fine. Now, where did the spike shield go? It's right there. Hmm, wait. The dark sword is back on top of the pile. Let's just pluck you by yourself. This poor fighter here. He's not really gonna have a turn to use those attacks because he's down to 10 health already. Now we just reach down, grab a sword and some daggers, and he is done. We went through that so fast. Ooh, another small sword or a warhammer for 20 damage? And it gives us some block. 
Yeah, let's do that. Oh man, this is a lot of attacks. Where is that spike shield when I need it? Also, what is this guy? A poison slime. Oh, that's not good. Let's just grab the war hammer to begin with for 20 damage off the bat. 23 actually. So that's taken care of. And then we will get some defenses for ourselves as well with some more strength powered attacks. So one slime is down at least. And I didn't realize actually how much block we had from that war hammer. That's very good. Oh, he just gave me poison? The jerk. Well, let's just use this first turn to grab the war hammer and the special dagger as well. Very good. We'll get some block there and we're down to one gross looking slime, which is perfect for this dark sword here. I love plucking just the thing on top very easily. We're going through this so fast and we're back up to full. Ooh, a morning star dealing damage based on block. We get a lot of block or increasing strength by two. I like the idea of our base strength going up because that means every attack does. And now, hello, who are you? A rogue. I can see that because you are wearing a hood. I would like to get that war hammer and the bomb or I'll just get the war hammer. Sure. Oh, but I need that ring first to get the strength increase. Oh, well, I wouldn't have one shot him anyway. Maybe now's a good time to get the big shield by itself because I didn't recognize how much damage that rogue was going to do. Oh, great. He's going to debuff me. Well, that's just rude. Still, if he's not attacking, then I don't have to worry about as much. And <gasps> that claw picked up nothing. What are you doing? You had so many things, Ray, for you. Fine. This guy will do it anyway. Oh, oh, you have got to be kidding. Okay, fine. We have one enemy down at least those brass knuckles betrayed me oh gosh that's a lot of poison and he's dealing more damage this turn oh no so let's get the big block first oh that dagger went with it that's not what i wanted it's hard to maneuver around these claw machines that just stack everything randomly but at least those guys are getting some poison and oh we took out the one slime so the dodge will protect us from the rogue aha now who's the shifty one all right let's see if i can get rid of this rogue before he does anything let's get rid of all the stuff on top of the dark sword very good how much damage is this gonna do actually that's actually a lot i might not need the dark sword but i kind of want it as long as i don't pick up any shields with it oh beautiful rogue is done for go on and get out of here hi -ya! 43 damage i love it every time Ooh, magnets attracting the metal items i do love this idea oh there's an altar place a small shield on the altar or a dagger let's place a dagger on the altar and see what happens it was duplicated neat that means more things we can upgrade which it sucks that these two are the only things we can upgrade oh well having two high damage daggers is always good and we actually have enough money to do this a few times so we have three of those tier two daggers which is just in time for the boss oh it's this guy i forgot about you actually you're different this one's gonna do poison isn't it it's gonna do poison at least the magnet has attracted all the fun stuff like a bomb and a poison nope. dagger oh or i just get the bomb Okay, that's fine. He's also gonna deal some damage. I should probably keep track of that. And then get the... Oh, no, I didn't get the big shield. Okay, he's gonna deal some damage to me, but it's not much. It's only seven. Oh, I forgot he does the mirror thing. All right, well, if he's going to do some damage to me, then I'll focus on block and get some spike shielding going on too. Oh, I just realized I need to damage him before the bomb goes off or else that damage is gonna come back to me. Well, let's just clear it right away because at least we have some block to go against this dagger here. So, okay, we lose some things there accounted for my strength oh no and he's just he's just reflecting everything isn't he the jerk so my thorns aren't gonna be effective against him when he has that mirror thing going on oh no the bomb is gonna go off on me right now anyway isn't it because he gets the mirror thing and then the bomb goes off i am in trouble here my attempts of getting high amounts of damage are about to backfire on me i don't like this anymore okay at least i have some things going on but not really oh Ooh, the thorns cleared it. Yes, he got the full effect of the bomb. Oh, I was worried there. But this is a fight I have to do every single time. I am not liking the looks of this. So we have 40 block to us, which will account for his sword and the thorns. Good, and he still got hit by that. Oh, oh no. man, he's only down 100 health. But if I keep getting big shields and the bombs, then it should pan out, right? Or I do my best to get this poison dagger because at least he'll get that debuff. Okay, good. I got it all. So extra spikes for me and then some damage his way. That actually has a lot of damage his way. So he's still poisoned. Oh, ow. Wee. He knocked me down to seven health with that. Maybe I should stop getting thorns. Oh dear. I'm not going to block enough here, am I? I should have gone for dodge. Can I even work my way through to the brass knuckles with this? I'm not sure I can. Although I can get the war hammer. That gives some block. Okay. Oh no. This is going to be more spikes, isn't it? Oh, I'm going to do myself in. Okay. I, at least I hit him and and that's 40 block there. Okay. 
poison, and then ow, ow. No, I did myself in. Ah, uh, well, that was a fun little challenge. And to be honest, I'm just looking forward to when this full game releases because there's gonna be so much goodness to it, I can tell. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and sub to intern. And thanks to the channel members, including Bread, Corby Farm, Mr. Cripple One, Dakota, Donomoto, Deviant X, Lucas, Matthew, Hateful Harold, Peggy Sue, Drupalong, TJ, Susie Sarcastic, Angel, Lily Bites, The Miner Within, DeGary, Sands, Isaac, Miguel, and Zero Fox.